Welcome, welcome to another one of our videos, and I think it's time we go back to our roots. Time to talk about mods, and with biotech out there are plenty of new ways to play with them. So sit back, relax, and prepare to add to your mod list as I bring you 10 cool mods to play with biotech. And of course, you'll find links to all of them in the description down below. Though I suppose we should have an honorable mention for the list. Vanilla Expanded, we've said it before, we will say it again. Vanilla Expanded is one of the greatest lists mods for RimWorld, though two stands out for biotech. One, the race is expanded, which used the biotech genes as of writing this script to only have the Surrids race, but I'm sure there will be new unique races on the workshop from Oscar and his team soon enough. Two, the outpost expanded. With biotech you can have kids, you can also have them do work, so why not send them to work in an outpost and profit off them? Some places call that child labor, we call it a summer camp experience. Alright, enough with the honorable mention, Bren, bring out the first mod. Speaking of kids, there's a good reason to have kids be kids. It lets them learn and potentially become great adults, but perhaps you don't want to spend in-game years waiting for kids to grow up to finally get that crafter of your dreams. Well, with the enhanced VAT learning mod, you can have the best of both worlds, letting a kid get the education they need and the speedy growth of a VAT. Granted, you need to do some research and find the tech prints to do this, but it's completely worth it. Now you can create the perfect soldier, the great leaders of tomorrow, or you know, that one guy who is good at growing your herbal supplements. Alright, so now you know you can grow super soldiers and even train them while they grow fast. What do you equip them with? Well, that's easy. Doom Gear. Yeah, recently Chicken Plucker updated his Doom mod, and me and my writer are happy to hear that, because when you are dealing with all sorts of crazy stuff, perhaps you need to rip and tear to survive. This mod also provides you a new start, a cool Slayer mark implant, and of course the awesome Praetor Power Armor and Doom Slayer armaments. I can't wait to see more, maybe some UAC stuff and demons to add to this list. Seriously, Chicken Plucker, if you are watching this, keep up the good work. We love your mods, all of them. Of course, if you Slayers bite the big one, you will need some extra defenses. Good things grandly brought out the laser turrets. These actually use the laser attacks of the new biotech mechs to do this, and it is so satisfying to see them do their work. Super accurate with decent damage, plus with a good range. You will have a lot of opponents not even make it to them before running off. Only catch is the plus steel requirement to charge, and they do eat up shots pretty fast. But hey, beats getting my head lopped off by some angry tribals. Alrighty, so let's say you may have accepted a bit too many dumping stockpile requests. Yeah, that might be a problem, especially since airdropping them out to another tile doesn't get rid of the pollution problem. I'm glad this mod was made because while I like the atomizer, it's a bit too slow sometimes. It's a simple quality of life mod that doubles the build cost and triples the power use. All that for 10 times the work speed and 5 times the capacity. I don't think it breaks the game and it's easily a good mod for mechanic playthroughs. So we should talk about a race mod because it's not just Oscar and his team making races for 1.4. No, we got Pure Blood Xenotype. By Pure Blood, we are talking about the Pure Blood species of Sith. This refers to the red skin species that lived on the planet Korriban. These Sith are your choice for psychic casters, getting a genetic boost to their sensitivity. This on top of their boost to melee weapons. Well, need I say more about these psychics? I do like them, though their hyper aggressive selves might be a problem in future colonies. But hey, that's a problem for future me. Definitely a great additional race to mix up your colony, and while you are at it, check out their other Star Wars mod. Funny thing, while writing this script, they just released the Vibroblade mod. Be a good weapon for these melee users, just saying. Alright, so say you want to constantly extract genes from really good xenotypes like Xanophage. It's kind of annoying to always repeatedly put your pawns in there, especially prisoners. But good news, with auto extract genes, you just go to the health tab, hit that checkbox off the auto extract, and let the game do it for you. They will automatically put pawns into the extractor if they can safely do it. Honestly surprised this wasn't incorporated into the base game, but who knows, maybe in an update this will be a permanent feature. Definitely download this mod if you plan to use biotech. So something I found out, my vampire can't become speed. All because three out of the five death rest buildings have a limit. Time to remove the limiters. <laughs> Way I see it, if you have the resources, why not turn your vampire into Alucard and wreck house? Download this mod if you plan to go on a bloody rampage or you know, prepare yourselves for his arrival. So let's say you don't want to have your children grow up in a tomb. You will need to protect them from all the raiders, insects, and door-to-door -door salesmen out on the rim. Well, look no further to the junior marine armor. Now little Timmy can do his part in the colony and looking pretty good at that. Seriously though, 
Power Armor for Children is a pretty good idea, especially since base biotech doesn't have anything on that level for children, so keeping them safe when things get hairy can get hard. Now with this armor, their survivability goes up and you have one less headache. Plus, hey, do they do give boosts to learning rates, making it even more useful. Interestingly enough, this is the mod creator's first mod, and for a first, yeah, we will watch your career with great interest. When this video is over, go over and tell him we sent you and give him support. Alright, how about a cool faction mod? The Halo UNSC faction. Like Oscar and his team who worked on to make the Mass Effect fit vanilla Rimworld, this mod aims to do the same with Halo UNSC. I do think they did a great job. The textures fit vanilla very well and all without feeling too overpowered. Well, except the rocket launcher, but hey, gotta pub stomp the dudes who come to your base anyway. By the way, something I'm sure is very important to you guys, but this mod is also combat extended, compatible, right out of the game. And even on the mod page, there is information on the combat extended stats, so yeah, great job. Finally, there is news for the future of this mod with biotech xenotypes in the form of the Spartan and Elites. That's gonna be awesome, especially when horrors from beyond space show up. And also, the flood. Alright, we have to talk about Mr. Void. Basically, this faction can and will destroy you. The mod creator even mentions this is only for people with overpowered mods or are masochists, and I, for one, agree. Though there have been a few changes, for instance, the faction will show up peacefully at first to talk to you and basically say to get off the planet. You have three up, beg for mercy peacefully, decline, or hasten your death by attacking them. These give you 30 days, a day or no days, to prepare for their hostility, and boy will they be a deadly opponent. On with some of the best weapons, armor, and implants, each one is a one-man army. Not to mention their, uh, their, um, the pets. Yeah. Oh, God, they're pets. The Emperor won't be protecting you if you face them. But why? Why would they do all this? Well, my writer actually went to Chicken Plucker to get his insight, and here's what he said. Void is a parody of the Rimworld player. They start off as the underdogs, the survivors. They fight enemies that are way beyond their league, and eventually they start catching up with technology and power until they become the cold-hearted and cruel monster they set out to destroy. Alrighty, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty much describing most players to a T, so what else does this mod do? Well, on top of the faction actually talking to you, supposedly, it's possible to join the faction. We don't know how. I assume it involves surviving impossible odds and maybe a lot of experimentation, but hey, maybe it's nice to be part of the winning team for once. There's even an event where someone wants to defect. Just keep in mind they are chased by voids, so this biz gris for this is reward right there. What do I recommend to beating them? <laughs> beating them? Honestly, the only way you can win is having an overpowered mod list. And even then, Void might wreck you before you even get that off the ground. I recommend this mod only for those with super mods, great knowledge of the game, or just hate themselves. But if I'm honest, I'm glad there will always be mods out there to kick your teeth in. Makes it so much more satisfying when we dominate. Well, on that, I think that's a good list of mods. Might have to wait a bit before the next list, but during that time, hit us up with great suggestions. Already have a few ideas for the future, but sometimes we need to wait for things to cook. In the meantime, I got to prepare my defenses for the whole- Oh, Randy above! They already run! 